and we've all done it, I'm sure. Uh, I have never, where you say you know, someone posits a suggestion and everyone has to say whether they've done it or not. Okay? So I've got these panels. It says never and I have. So we can see instantly. Pass those down. Pass those down. Are you playing as well? Yeah, I'm going to play as well. I'm going to join in. Okay. And I've got these. These are questions we got from fans of yours in the audience. So uh, I'm going to start with this one. This is from Paula. I have never danced naked in the rain. Right. Naked. Oh. Naked. Three bold, adventurous young men. <laughs> three boy and old fart standing. <laughs> okay. Do we include the rain setting on a shark? You dance naked in your shower. That's a bloody hat. Okay. I have never. Well, of course, I'm naked in the shower. That's a I know you're naked in one. You must have danced in the shower. I don't stand in the shower fully clothed. Well, do you dance in the shower? Sometimes it's a bit of a boogie. This is Jason. I've never been in the Mile High Club. Harry, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on, we know the answer. misreported, you know, deliberately misreported. Uh, so I had a few stories here, and I want to see whether these were true or not, and whether or not you know this. Here's one which was it's so weird, that Harry apparently, this was in the papers, Harry was sick last year on a roadside, when he fell ill after a long hike, and a fan then collected the vomit and tried to sell it on eBay. <laughs> was that true though? Do you know, was that actually for sale? Do you know? Uh, I, I don't <laughs> know if it made it to eBay, but it was a, it was a thing. 
I saw a thing on the internet the other day of you, which was someone had stored a fart of yours in a jar from a party. How would you prove that? He was selling it for ten dollars. It was like it was a genuine Harry Styles fart in a jar. Well, <laughs> not a certificate of authenticity. Well, I don't know. He was like, <laughs> this the other day in my in my um, garage it's a jar that harry farted when we were younger but here's the thing that's a weird piece of merchandise to have because it is it's exclusive what it do is. you do do you keep do you save it for a special occasion and break it out like quality streets at christmas do you say you know what we've had a good day let's break that fire out so, yeah. you, go. you can't get it back in the jar it's like a genie right okay. <laughs> that's a weird one it was weirder for me because my mum sent it to me and was like, what the farm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the, like a link to it on eBay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, people, everyone likes different things. What, yeah. what did she say when you, she sent the email? What was the message? Was it like, my son, I'm proud of you? And asked you or was it like, oh God, this is weird? Or? I think it was, uh, is this real? Are you the seller? <laughs> this one, one D singer reveals STD worries after koala bear incident. <laughs> who who wants to tell us what this story is about? Who heard about this? One? I think I <laughs> said a joke one time and it went away too far. What was the joke? Well, koala bears carry a certain STD, joke which is... Was it? Yeah, chlamydia. 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 Yeah. Ko koala bears do carry. Which isn't a joke. It's no joke for koala bears. <laughs> it's a real thing. Yeah. So you were worried you'd maybe called it. After I made a joke about it somewhere. There's me looking very scared about holding that. Look, there you go. He's already got it. And he weed on me, and it's they pass it that way, and yeah. His face says, "Shit, I've got chlamydia." That would be a good. That would be a good advert for the cream for chlamydia. <laughs> Uh, shall we take a break and then come back and I will grill you more about drug use and personal life? <laughs> Still to come, we've got more chat with One Direction and of course Mr. Michael McIntyre's here and then we'll be filming...